Okay, so today we're going to be taking a look at Plex. Um, it's a uh, Xbox Media Center fork for Mac OS X. Um, I believe it's Intel only right now. Um, I believe that's what it was from the beginning. So you have to have a current Macintosh to be able to use uh, Plex. And basically what it is is a media manager. Now this is my TV. You can see my Mac Mini in the bottom left-hand corner. Um, so it manages all my TV shows, my movies, uh, home video, pictures, it does Netflix, Hulu, etc. So let's let's dive right in. Um, this is the screensaver. Uh, it's basically showing fan art. Um, so I'm, I'm using the standard uh, remote. And so let's go into my movies. And all my movies. And so basically this is a really nice uh, user interface that you can use to go through your movies. Uh, see what movies you have, play movies. Um, all of these movies are in um, high definition and you can see it did scrape um, IMDB for the information. Um, so the user or the uh, movie information, the rating on IMDB, uh, the year it came out, director, written by, etc. Um, so let me back out of here. And really what I'm going to be showing you is the the real power of Plex is its ability to work cross-platform. So what that means is it's kind of ironic it only works on Macs however if you are in a all Mac household this is the best inform you know best piece of software you could ever run. So we can go into my TV shows and you can see these are all my TV shows. That's nice. Um, so now when I say cross-platform what that means is it'll work on iOS so that means iPhones iPads and it will also work over the network on your <clears throat> other Mac computers so this is just um, this is just my Mac mini so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let's see what do, what do we want to watch we want to watch the office um, and so these are our DVD rips from my DVD collection. Legal copies, I have the DVDs. And so you can see this is playing. Um, great. So then let's let's dive into to the um, iOS version. Okay, so now I'm going to show you Plex on the iPad. Now this is all going to be streaming from my Mac Mini to my iPad. None of these videos are actually on the iPad. So just take note that um, none of this is loaded on the iPad. So you can go into this library view and see, you know, TV shows, home video. So the video is playing and <clears throat> it's interesting to take note that because it's streaming over the Wi-Fi, um, you know, it loads up immediately, there's no lag, uh, it, it runs great. And the biggest thing also to take note is this video that is playing on the iPad was not um, transcoded for the iPad. It's in a format that does not play on the iPad. So what Plex is doing right now is it is actually transcoding it in real time to play on the iPad. And you can do nice things like skip ahead. And it'll just start transcoding and immediately start where you wanted it to go. And this works with all content. Anything that Plex can play, it can transcode and automatically play on iOS devices. Um, that includes iPhones. So, you know, if you're on the network, or even if you're not, um, if you have a Dyn DNS account, or if you if you have a static IP address, you can access all of these files over the internet um, very easily. Um, <clears throat> one of the nice things is you can also play, so let's say I'm watching a movie in the living room and someone borrows my iPad, they can watch a TV show or a movie at the same exact time. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to demonstrate that right now. 
Okay, so now I'm going to demonstrate how Plex can handle multiple uh, videos. So let's go ahead and launch this again. And so right now it's transcoding that video and playing it on the iPad. And on the TV I have Avatar. I'm going to go ahead and play that. Let's go ahead and start from the beginning. Uh, keep in mind this is still running. And we want it in HD. Now I've tested this up to five devices. I had two MacBooks, the Mac Mini playing the video, and an iPhone and an iPad all working at the same time on my network. Let's go ahead and skip forward. And there you can see. It's still playing just fine on both devices. And like I said, up to five, I think. I don't remember what the exact limit is. I think it depends on your wireless or your network. Um, I haven't had it skip, quit, uh, do anything bad that you know it, it shouldn't have done um, yeah okay and let's let's switch gears while we're going here I'm gonna pause this uh, sorry I'm trying to do this while I have while I'm holding the camera Let's try this again. <clears throat> so what I tried to do is I tried to play Avatar on the iPad as well as on the TV and it didn't like that. So now it's playing the Born Identity in HD. Uh, while Avatar is playing on the main TV. So yeah, that's it. Um, highly suggest Plex if you're looking for a media center. Um, Mac minis are about 600 bucks in the refurb store and this is the current gen Mac mini uh, 320M, 4 gigs of RAM. Works like a charm. Thanks for watching.